Good to see you everyone. We're going to show you today how to do a direct Moxie Bastion or Moxa. These are the essential items that we need. High purity, ideally Japanese loose Moxa. Junko or red cream. If you don't have one, get a Bivax or any healing cream without chemicals. Smokeless, thin incense and marker and lighter. So we are going to need a little pinch of loose Moxa, size of 2 or 3 rice grains. And then we are going to roll it in our hands. Now let's see the close-up. These Kirk coasters greatly speed up the process of rolling. With lower grade of Moxa you will have difficulty rolling threads as they break apart with so many impurities. Here is a close-up of large intestine 4 acupuncture location. Notice these little pieces of Moxa. They are the size of the rice grain but a little thinner. Extinguish when the flame is very near the skin, but just before you feel a little pinch. It's nice to feel warmth, but no pinch should be felt as a part of tonification. After you finish with Moxibustion, there shouldn't be any red spot on the skin. The best way to extinguish moxa is not to tap on it. This will get your fingers messy and disturbs the little ash pyramid. But instead make little triangle formed by your fingers. This will starve moxa of oxygen gradually. The purpose of ocutonification technique is to build new moxa on the ash of previous one, like building little pyramids. This further decreases the burning temperature, which is what we want when we tonify or enhance the energy. Higher grade of moxa also burns at lower temperature, which enhances tonification further. For the acupuncturists watching, the reduction technique would be to remove the old ash before adding new moxa or no pyramids building. The moxa is generally done on acupuncture points or on places of pain, strain or trigger area. If you want to affect bigger area, Choose several locations around trigger point and do maximum 3 moxas on each location. I generally do OQ as a part of my Toyohari acupuncture practice. Personally I like to use Shungao red cream made of healing herbs. It sticks and holds moxa nicely. Some people use water instead of cream. Try for yourself, I find water tend to soak the moxa and it doesn't stick as nicely. I generally use 3 to 5 moxas per 1 point. It's better to start gradually with several points and build into little protocol of around 7 to 14 locations. Now there is another method mainly for acupuncturists. This is Fukaya style. The idea is to palpate the back, mainly intrascapular area, and find a sore spot or nodule. Then further press with bamboo or hollow tube. The red spot should appear. This is life point. Find several of these life points on the back and treat with 8 to 15 OQ that you extinguish with bamboo tube. Adjust the pressure of bamboo, but Fugaya suggests firm, almost rotating vibrating pressure. The patient may also enjoy it as a little massage. Hope that makes sense. Um, any questions, any comments, let me know. Thank you.